Hi, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to talk about breathing. Uh, we're going to talk about breathing because basically it kind of just gets left out a lot, especially in fitness training, but breathing is like one of the core things that you should be doing. And I just came back from the CrossFit Open. We were doing 18.2. And what is the thing that people weren't doing? They weren't, they weren't breathing. They, more importantly, they weren't breathing the same every time. So for every exercise you do, there is a breath pattern that you should do in order to keep your breath exactly the same, right? So this is the general rule that I've come up with after 15 years of coaching or whatever. Um, breathe every time you change directions, right? Anytime, whatever you're doing changes directions. So if you're doing uh, a barbell clean, right? And then exhale again on the way down, right? So, or when you're doing a kettlebell snatch, this is, this is a higher level breathing. So you would be doing like exhale, 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 exhale. And it seems like a lot of breathing and it is until you have to do 50 reps of something or today in 18.2, we're doing uh, double dumbbell squats. Don't hold your breath, right? Holding your breath is gonna kill you. And more important, if your one breath is not enough, inhale down, exhale at the top. If that is not enough, add more breathing. Exhale at the top, exhale at the bottom. It is a skill you have to work on because you're gonna have, your core is going to have to be strong enough to not be pressurized in order to hold your body up. So it's something you'd have to learn to develop. But this is something that I learned from endurance guys, guys who do endurance weightlifting, um, kettlebell sport guys. Kettlebell sport guys will take two 70 pound kettlebells and they will lift them overhead for 10 minutes nonstop doing like a minimum of 200 reps in that amount of time. And they do it by putting their exhales in the exact same place every time, right? They never focus on inhaling. They only focus on exhaling. If you exhale, your body will naturally inhale for you in that place in the middle of the movement. But say when you're doing burpees, but doing one burpee, you could have seven breaths in each movement, but make it rhythmic, focus on that. If you need to go for a long time, any type of endurance activity, the breath pattern is the key. We'll do more videos on this in the future, but this is just a quick note. Focus on the exhale of breathing every time there is a direction change. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. Learn to breathe. Breathing is a skill.